And welcome to the Coach's Corner Report here from Carolina Panthers Training Camp, or should I say the Lowe's Carolina Panthers Training Camp in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Day two, and we have already learned a lot of different things. Uh, in our first two days of training camp, we have learned several things. We have learned that Josh Norman carries a walking stick to fight off the wildlife here at Walford College, that he keeps the stick with him at all times and his bag with the raccoon tail and squirrel's tail for a wild game here on campus. They fight off squirrels, raccoons, anything else though. We learned today that Trey Boston and Fozzie Whitaker both propose to their fiancés before training camp. I guess you gotta take care of business before you come to camp. Get everything done that you need to do. We learned that Cam Newton, the most important thing that he would want people to know about him is that he enjoys life to the fullest, that he wants to enjoy his life, have a good time. We learned last night the value of how important family is, and Ryan Khalil today talked to us a little bit about that, about how this is a family organization, and he thinks it's important both on and off the field that we had the chance, and hopefully you had a chance to see our pictures on Facebook of the many pictures of the Carolina Panther players' kids getting autographs from various players. Again, great pictures on that. If you had not had a chance to catch that, you might want to see that too. We had our first injury of training camp. We don't know how severe it's going to be, but Stephen Hill injured a knee. We'll wait on an update on that. We had our first practice without head coach Ron Rivera, who was attending his brother's funeral over on the West Coast right now. So the Panthers did not miss a beat. Again, what they've said all along, and I agree with this being a former coach, players know the system, they know what they need to do, and they stepped up and got things done uh, doing the things the way, as they call it, the Panther way. So again, a lot of things going on in training camp the, the first few days here. We've got two days under our belts in shorts. They will put on the pads tomorrow. And again, everybody looks good in shorts. Even a 56-year-old guy uh, looks good in shorts, though. But when you put on the pads, you start finding out who can play and who can't. We will be checking that out tomorrow as the Panthers will be practicing on Sunday morning and we'll also practice on Monday before having a day off on Tuesday. Again, you don't want to forget coming up Friday night will be the, the Panthers day or Panthers night at Bank of America Stadium, the fan appreciation night, so you want to make plans now to attend that though. But it's hot like it always is at training camp. The battles are going to be very competitive as the players have talked about uh, just how good the competition is going to be this year, which will only help this team having the depth they have though. But training camp in full speed now here at Walford College, if you get a chance, come out and see the Panthers practice. Reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting, I am the coach, Dick Cox.